Okay, so you're on your way to Burning Man or some other festival, or you just want to make awesome LEDs that you can control. You're probably going to want RGB LEDs, which combine red, green, and blue channels to create whatever color you get in the end. One super popular variety is the NeoPixel. This is a standard LED type that's been popularized by Adafruit. It comes in rings and strips and matrices and single pixels even. They take 5 volts of power and also require a data and ground pin. So how do you get rolling with these? First you're going to want to go to GitHub and download the Adafruit NeoPixel library for Arduino. You can use this clone or download button. If you're not familiar with the command line, just hit download zip. Once you unzip that folder, put it into your Arduino libraries directory. This is often in your documents folder. All the extra libraries you've installed on Arduino will live here. Then make sure you restart the Arduino IDE before you move on because it'll need to recognize it. Once you've done that, you'll have the code available under the examples folder in your examples from the libraries section. Let's go with simple. By default, we're using pin 6 on the Arduino, and that's a PWM pin because that's how the NeoPixel receives signal. Tell it how many pixels are in your strand, in this case 10. And those first two variables go into this one definition of an object called pixels. It's an object of type Adafruit NeoPixel, and it takes these arguments. You have a little bit of setup code, which really only applies if you're using the Adafruit trinket. And in your code, you've got a for loop. Now we looked at this in the servo example. It says start out with a variable with value zero. And then as long as that variable is under the number of pixels that you have, add one and then run this loop. The loop itself takes the i variable, which is the number of pixel. So starting with pixel number one, and then it sets the pixels color to green. Colors are fed in as RGB values, so 0 to 255, red, green, and blue. In this case, 0 is no red, 150 is like halfway green, and then 0 is no blue. Pixels.show basically says, actually run this. And then you have a short delay before it does the next one. And that value is set earlier up here as delay val. NeoPixel strip can be cut to any length that you like. Just make sure that you solder headers onto the side with the arrow going away from it because you can only feed power and data from one specific end. Hook it up to ground, give it data on pin 6 like we said in the program, and then hook up your 5 volts. Okay, let's program it up. The code doesn't actually include anything to turn the pixels off again, so you can do that by removing and replacing power, or hitting reset depending on your board. Once you're ready to actually build this into a project, you'll want to add a 300 to 500 ohm resistor uh, between the data pin of the Arduino and the data in of the first pixel. This is described in the Adafruit Best Practices Uber Guide for NeoPixels. Also, if you're using a large power source, you'll need a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Uh, between the power and ground lines. Rad.